Hey guys, let's talk about planning for your mastery path because um, really 99% of the work in building a mastery path is the preparation. So I've got a planning template here on the screen that I usually use when I create a, a mastery path and I've shared it with you in the course. Um, but the very first thing you need to do is choose what your initial assessment is going to be. And usually that's going to be a quiz. The reason being that a quiz will grade itself in Canvas. And what happens is the students take this initial assessment and whatever score they get on that initial assessment is going to drive which pathway opens up for them. And that pathway cannot open up until there's a score. So while you can use another kind of assignment as your initial, like your launching assessment for a mastery path, um, it would take a little bit longer because you would have to turn around and grade all those things and uh, release those scores in order for those students to, to be released down those pathways. So usually you start with a quiz first. Um, <clears throat> you need to figure out how many pathways you're going to have. You can have two or three. Um, you need to figure out what resources and activities are going to go with each path. And if you find that you're putting the same resources and, and activities in each pathway, then you, may, you probably need to relook at whether a master path is the right fit for you. Um, because if students are doing exactly the same work, um, they can do that in other ways than a mastery path. So mastery paths are really for kids that are doing different work in class. Um, let's see, what else? Um, when you are looking at these things, discussions, quizzes, um, assignments can all be added to mastery paths automatically. Uh, pages can be added too. They just take a little extra setup. So um, let me show you an example. Here is a page. And if I go to edit that page, uh, at the bottom, it says allow in mastery paths. You have to click that box in order for it to be an option. Okay, so just FYI. All right. And so I use this planning template and I just, you know, copy these boxes and represent the different assignments and activities that I'm putting in each pathway. You have a maximum of three things that you can put in each pathway and you're going to see and and or symbols when you build your path. So you can say, I want students to do, ooh, maybe I can't grab it. Okay. I want them to do this and either uh, this thing or this thing, right? So you can put those uh, qualifiers in. So this is a great tool to kind of plan out what you're going to do. Um, and then you're going to choose your point values for your thresholds. And there's another video on that because I talk about doing that for a regular assignment and then also for something like um, the book club uh, example that you work through where, you know, how do you decide point values based on what book they chose? And that video will explain that. So, that's just how I uh, use my planning template, and um, hopefully that will help. You need to do all of this preparation before you are ready uh, to move on, and everything has to be completely created and in your course uh, before you can start actual creation of your mastery path.